are such an asshole. Hello, children. The old Capmeister here in the Southern Command. Gonna bang out some asshole consulting, which is the only work I'm doing until the 4th. Need a clarity test on Bob Mueller and Rod Rosenstein. Thanks, and that is from James. All right, James, well, let's take a look. Bob Mueller, is that the guy investigating? Bob Mueller. Bob Mueller. I think I already did one on him. Let's take a look. Wasn't he like all FBI the entire time? Rob Mueller. Swan Mueller III, born 1944, is American Attorney General who served as the sixth director of the Federal Bureaus of Investigations from 2001 to 2013. He is head of a special counsel investigation of Rus Russian interference in the 2016 United States election elections and related matters. A graduate of Princeton University and New York University, Mueller said the Marine Corps officer during the Vietnam War received the Bronze Star for heroism and a Purple Heart. He subsequently attended University of Virginia School of Law. Mueller is a Republican and was appointed or reappointed to Senate-confirmed positions by Presidents George H.W. Bush, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama. He has spent the bulk of his career in government service, serving at times as an assistant United States attorney and a United States attorney, United States assistant attorney general and cr the criminal division, a homicide prosecutor in Washington, D.C., acting United States deputy attorney general and director of the FBI. You ask the vehicles, Theo, and I give you the FBI. All right. He, we know, he has real world work experience being in the military first child four younger sisters father was an executive of dupont who served as a navy officer in Atlantic mediterranean during world war ii all right so he comes from wealth that's a strike against him uh grew up in princeton where he attended princeton country day school no no Bachelor's of Arts in Politics. I gotta, I gotta give him at least half a point. I know the baby boomers are old. Um, an A degree was a good degree back then, but the fact you want to go into politics right off the bat, that yeah, and then he gets a Master's of Arts in International Relations before pursuing his Juris Doctorate. All right. Um, Yeah, so he's got came from wealth. I'm gonna give him a worthless degree because that, that's just that's just I want to I want to fuck around degrees. Um, real world working experience. What is he doing now? Uh, he is the investigator. And see, with the likes of FBI, I'm inclined to consider that real work, like cops, police, firefighters, military. That's real work. Turn to the private sector. Consulting professor uh, is what he's doing right now. Uh, he's a ranger. Okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt on what he's doing now uh, because he could have just been a professor or something like that. Like, so he returned to the private sector was a professor. Like that's not private sector. Uh, yeah, he gets two points. Would I want to have a beer with him? Yeah, I probably would. Should he run for office? No, he's been in. He's been in there too long. Again, he's better than most people, but uh, with those degrees and a career in government, uh, I prefer I prefer people not lifelong government employees uh, run for public office. Okay, and then Rod Rosenstein. Is that bobbling back and forth? Oh, it is. Rod Rosenstein. Oh, look at that skinny guy. Rod Rosenstein. God, he's skinny. No, Wikipedia, I don't care to donate to you. Rod Rosenstein, born 1965, American attorney, serving as United States Deputy Attorney General since 2017. Prior to his current appointment, he served as United States Attorney for the District of Maryland. At the time of his confirmation as Deputy Attorney in April of 2017, he was the nation's longest-serving U.S. Attorney. Rosenstein has also been nominated to the United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit in 2007, but his nomination was never considered by the U.S. Senate. 
President Donald Trump nominated Rosa Steen to serve as Deputy Attorney General for the United States Department of Justice on February 1st, 2017. Rosa Steen was confirmed by the U.S. Senate April 25th, 2017. In May 2017, he authored a memo that President Trump cited as a basis for a decision to dismiss FBI Director James Comey. Following the recusal of Attorney General Jeff Sessions of Comey's dismissal, Rosenstein appointed Robert Mueller as a special counsel to investigate alleged ties between the Trump campaign and Russia during 2016 elections and related matters. Rosenstein previously assumed authority over the parallel FBI probe after the recu recusal of former Attorney General Jeff Sessions over misleading remarks he made to the Senate Committee on the Judiciary during his confirmation process. My God, this is boring. Uh, November, Trump transferred command of this oversight to acting U.S. Attorney General Mark or Matthew Whitaker. All right. Did he come from wealth? Ran a small business, bookkeeper, school board president, grew up in his one sister. All right. She, uh, he doesn't sound like he came from money, so that's good so far. Ted Wharton, Bachelor's of Science and Economics. I'm not going to give him a point for that because baby boomers. Uh, that, that was a legitimate degree back in the day, and it was Wharton. After graduating from Penn, Rosenstein attended Harvard Law School, where he's an editor of the Harvard Law Review. While at Harvard, Rosenstein landed an internship with then-acting United States Attorney for the District of Massachusetts, Robert Mueller. Oh, he worked under Mueller. Rosenstein graduated cum laude in 1989 with a Juris Doctorate degree. He then served as a law clerk to Judge Douglas H. Ginsburg of the United States Court of Appeals and District of Columbia Circuit. He was a Wasserstein Fellow at the Harvard Law School in 1997-1998. Okay. He went right into law. Government law. Does he have any private sector experience? None. No. He doesn't. Doesn't have a worthless degree, didn't come from wealth. He doesn't have any private sector real world experience, so that's a point against him. What's he doing now? Same thing. And he didn't work in the FBI, so I'm not really going to give it to him. No real working experience has been doing nothing but government work. So he's got two points against him. Would I want to have a beer with him? No. Should he run for public office? No. Because uh, it's just... It, it, I, I hate the whole Harvard, I'm going to go straight to government. This guy's never set foot in the real world. And then there's more Michael Cohen, impeach articles, New York Times, personal. I, I don't care. I'm not paying attention to the whole thing, guys. It's like Benghazi. I just didn't pay attention. I don't care. Okay, because I don't. It's so much nicer being ignorant and not worrying about it. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. I will be returning, writing, doing videos and podcasts on the 4th. Um, but it's going to be a couple days because the old captain needed to take a break. Drove all the way across the country, and I need to rest and take it easy. So I'll see you guys later. Toodles.